Well, when it comes to Internet entities succumbing to government pressure, Twitter seems to be the last holdout, refusing time and time again to cooperate with authorities, demanding information from them. But now a judge in New York says Twitter must produce tweets from a protester involved in the Occupy Wall Street movement. The protester's name is Malcolm Harris, and he was charged with disorderly conduct, along with about 700 others, for his actions on October 1st, 2011. This was the day, you may remember, that the Brooklyn Bridge was blocked by the protesters. It was also the day the public started paying attention to Occupy Wall Street. Harris and others say they were simply following police orders when they were led onto the bridge before being arrested. Now the courts are trying to get to the bottom of exactly what happened. Twitter, though, is not going down without a fight. They've, they've appealed to the ruling, saying Harris's tweets are protected by the Fourth Amendment because, quote, the government admits that it cannot publicly access them, thus establishing that the defendant maintains a, maintains a reasonable expectation of privacy. Those Twitter accounts being investigation have been closed for quite some time. That's, of course, why the judge is demanding that Twitter cooperate. They have until the end of the week to turn over that information, and we will, of course, keep you posted on what happens.